In this video, I'm showing you how to set up a VPN on Xbox Series X. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So within this guide, I'm showing the full process of installing the VPN and then going and actually using it as well. And I'm showing you it fully working and then it actually hides your IP address, which should hopefully reduce uh, chances of attacks from DDoS attacks and that type of thing. So hopefully you find this really useful and let's go and get into this. So I wanted to quickly clear up. I've seen some videos talking about DNSs. Now this is only for streaming content. This doesn't change your IP or actually protect your network. So avoid sort of just messing around DNS settings. Just to quickly summarize this tutorial, we're going to be using a computer and creating a wireless network with a VPN to then join with a console so our IP address is completely protected. It's honestly quite simple and this is all covered in this guide. Now a quick note, the VPN I do recommend is ExpressVPN. It does cost money but I do recommend probably avoiding the free VPNs as they're often unsecure and they're free uh, because they collect data and sell it. So honestly you're probably better off paying a bit of money and there's some really great deals on ExpressVPN. So now let's go into the next step of the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is come down to the link in the comments or the description and click on the offer to ExpressVPN. Then it's going to go and take you to the ExpressVPN homepage. Uh, all you want to do is go and click on get ExpressVPN. As you can see, one of the most trusted names in VPN. Click here and then you can go and choose your plan. Now it's going to go and select the best deal here. As you can see, you get 15 months um, and you save 49% with this and honestly it's a great deal and then let's go and buy it. Then once you bought it you want to come to the account page and you can go and download it for any device you want. So as you can see here ExpressVPN for Windows I'm going to go and click download and once you click download you then need to go and copy the activation code as you can see it's just here I'll have black mine out copy that and then let's go and install this. And you're going to get a Windows Cootie pop-up and then it's going to go and start the install. Then you want to go and click sign in and then it's going to go and start loading. Then you need to go and paste in your activation code. So I'm going to paste mine in now. And ExpressVPN is now ready to use. So now let's go and quit off this and you want to go and open up command prompt. So what you want to do is come down to the search down here and simply type in CMD. And then you have this here and you want to right click on it and click run as administrator. And then you're going to get a Windows security pop-up and here we go. So guys, you're going to need to have a wireless dongle. Now, some computers have these built in. Otherwise, you may have to go and buy one. I can't actually remember the one I have, but I found which is very similar. Um, and it's basically a wireless dongle. You simply plug into your computer. And there is one key function which you need to have, which is called hosted network support. I'll be showing you how to check if yours, your current one has this. Otherwise, I'll try and link one which does have one in the description. So what we want to do is simply go and type in net sh w lan show drivers just like so and then press enter and then it makes this whole list here so you may need to scroll up and all you want to do is make sure you've got hosted network supported and as you can see yes therefore i can go and use this dongle to go and create a network so let's go and get into the next step so if yours says yes we're ready to go into the next step if this doesn't you need to go and make sure you have our list dongle which does have this function so the next thing you want to type is simply go and type in once again net sh and then wlan set hosted network and then go in space again and put mode equals allow like so and then you want to go and type in ssid which is going to be the name of the network so in this example i'm just going to go and put um console vpn like so and then for the key which is the password it needs to be at least eight characters so i'm just going to go for a basic one like one two three four five six seven eight I would recommend making it more secure, um, but that will do for now. And then I'm going to go and press enter. And then you're going to get this message here. And as you can see, everything has gone and been successful. So let's get into the next step. So then we need to go and turn this network on. So all we want to then do is type net sh again and go and put wlan start hosted network, just like so. And then go and press enter. And then it's going to take a minute to load. And as you can see, the hosted network is now started. Now, before we get any further and before we bind the VPN with the network, we need to go and make sure this is working correctly. So I recommend going and checking Windows Defender. So all you want to do is come down to the search icon and simply go and type in Windows Defender Firewall, just like so. And then you want to make sure it's this one here, Control Panel. Click here and it's going to bring up here. And you want to make sure these are both green. Otherwise, it's going to be blocking networks. Uh, so you need to make sure uh, they're both green. 
So if that's okay, you can then go and exit off this, and then we can go and get into the binding part of this video. So now let's go and open up ExpressVPN. So I'm gonna double click here, and here we go. So I'm gonna personally go and set my location to the US because currently I'm in the UK, and it's gonna be easier to prove to you that this is actually working. So I'm gonna click here, and then gonna go and click on the US, and then I'm gonna go and click off this, and we can go and click connect, and let's go and test this out. So click connect, it'll take a minute to load. As you can see, I'm going to New York, and we'll continue to wait. I would recommend doing the closest one to you. You're gonna have sort of the least sort of latency. So yeah, say if you're in the US, stick to the US. And if you're in the UK, do stick to the UK, but I'm just doing this for the tutorial. Now to go and actually bind it, you wanna simply right click on the Windows icon here and you wanna go and click on network connections. And then it's gonna bring up this window here. Then all you want to do is click on change adapter options, click here, and it's gonna load this up now. And here we are on our network connection. So here we can see my Wi-Fi. Here we can see the hosted network. Um, so just remember that name. So it's got a star the nine. And here we've got the Express VPN TAP adapter. So we want to use this one here. So simply click on it, then right click on it and click on properties. Then all we want to do is simply go and click on sharing. And then as you can see here, we need to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So click here. And then you need to go and select a private network connection. So click there. And then you want to make sure this is the right name here, which is star nine. Now to check this, mine is under here, but you can actually see it under here. As you can see, uh, this is the, the network and you can see it here. Microsoft hosted network and it's local area connection nine. Then you want to go and click on this as well. And then you click OK. And then it's going to circle for a minute. And then this just basically binds it. And now let's go and test this out. Just a quick note, this number may be different. It doesn't actually matter. It's just so you can identify it. So before I go and prove to you this is working, to go and switch this off, all you need to do is type net sh wlan stop hosted network. So you just replace it with the stop and let's go and test this out. So here we are on my phone. Now you can do this on your console. I just want to do it on my phone as it's just a bit easier. So I'm going to click on settings and then come to Wi-Fi. And then it's going to go and load up my Wi-Fi. As you can see, console VPN, that is the network we created. So then you want to click there and then enter the password you created, which mine was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then click join. And there we go, it's now joining. So it may take a minute to join. Uh, it will take a bit longer because it's obviously on your computer. And boom, we're now joining this network. It's now connected. So now we can go and open up Safari or you know any web browser. And all I'm gonna do is simply go and type in what's my IP like so, and then search it. And then you'll have to do this quick verification. And there it says your IP. And then I can click on what is my IP address. And this will take a minute to load. And then here we go. You can now see our IP, it's in the US and it is in Kansas, as you can see there. So that IP address there isn't actually your personal one. So if anyone tries to attack it, your network is not gonna be affected at all. I do hope you found this video useful and your IP is now protected, which is super, super powerful. And hopefully you aren't now being constantly disconnected from games and your network being disrupted. So yeah, I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below, subscribe for more content, leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.